Hello, everybody, and welcome to today's uh, Volta TST. Uh, thanks for joining. As usual, the call is public and recorded and will be shared live on YouTube. So please be mindful of the comments you make and the information you share uh, with the team. Uh, so right now, uh, today, I just wanted to, this is the last TST of the Volta 2.9 release. And I wanted to make sure uh, that we stand correctly for the release and that uh, we are in, uh, in good shape. Uh, I thanks Ken and uh, Grish and Theo for merging last week the streaming uh, elements that uh, I believe solved the um, restart of the containers. So I believe no action is any more needed on that topic, unless uh, uh, you guys uh, disagree on that. Uh, Ken, uh, do you think it's okay? That's okay, uh, except it was not a streaming uh, change. Uh, okay. It was reusing the existing polling mechanism. Ah, okay. And that uh, that, that actually works better. The, the streaming one was uh, giving a, a leaky go routine and we didn't want to have that too close to the release. So is the plan to have the streaming uh, for the next release? Uh, correct, like uh, I'm, uh, I'm rebasing the streaming and I'm going to push it up as a work in progress. And then it's something that we can look at uh, for next release. Okay, sounds good. Perfect. Okay. Um, so on the release, uh, open issues. Um, so, Theo, uh, this bug here, the four four nine zero. How do we how do we look on that? Uh, sorry, I'm currently in the car, so I'm not looking in the screen. Uh, the, the number on yeah, the my head. That is the OF agent receiving two flow delay districts for the same flow. Yeah, that is still happening. Okay. Uh, I wasn't able to track it down. It actually doesn't seem to affect things. Uh, okay. So the, the errors that we were seeing that we saw were related to, to that bug were actually related to the fact that honestly was not trying to delete it. Okay. Okay. And with the patch you made in yesterday, uh, I see the correct behavior and I finally see Okay, okay. So Theo mentioned a patch that uh, I made on Onos yesterday. We found out that Onos, upon uh, finding flow entries uh, in the statistics that uh, were impending remove in the store, uh, was not actually reissuing a request to remove those. So I made a patch uh, for, for, for Onos. I'm discussing it with the Onos team. And we plan to um, to release that as part of the 2.5.5 release of Onos, which is going to be included into Volta 2.9. So, so that's the fix. Uh, so maybe, Theo, do you think we can move this to a further, uh, the SOF agent receiving double flow delete strict, uh, either to, to leave it there, but uh, also not like not being a, a blocker, so we can, if, if this is, is in there, it's no problem. Yeah, that's definitely not a blocker. Uh, uh, it, was, it was hard to understand the last phrase you said. Oh, sorry. I, I was just saying that we can move it away from being a blocker. Because with your okay. last patch, everything is working as we expected. We just have these two flow delete that are that are arriving. Uh, one will fail, but it's not a problem because first one will succeed. Okay. Sounds good. Okay. I had, I added a comment there. Perfect. Okay, good. Okay. So
uh, Girish, the, um, these two, 4511 and 4522. Uh, I I, you pushed some passes, so I think uh, these should be able to be fixed before the release, right? Uh, yes, Andrew. Okay, good. Uh, this one, the, the fix is already, is actually there. And it's only on BB Sim, so I think that even if uh, if it's present in the release, it's not that big of a deal. Uh, the fix is present; it's just we have not tested it at scale, so that's one of the reasons why uh, it's not merged yet and it's not finished. I think it's okay if we have it there; no big deal. Um, in the um, in the to dos, I don't really know what this bug is. Actually, who reported it? Oh, interesting, I reported it. Okay, uh, let me assign it to myself and see if this is reproducible. Uh, and this is actually on 2.8. So it's not, it's definitely not a blocker for 2.9, uh, for the 2.9 release. Um, so it's okay if, uh, we, we, I don't see it anymore and we don't see it anymore in the 2.9 pipelines and even in 2.8, I, I would have to investigate again if we see it. Uh, so that's not that big of a deal. Um, so this one is actually the one I, I was just talking about that we made a fix uh, in Onos for. And we are in the progress of testing that. So that's actually uh, already in progress. Um, I am not sure about this uh, This one from Odzge. Mahir, um, do you know anything about this? Uh, unfortunately, I don't have any idea. Okay, so Does, doesn't see have any comments on it. Okay, I'll I remind her again. Okay. Okay. Uh, the data plane performance issues. I need. We need to check this. Uh, Grish, uh, uh, do you think that after the fix we made for the traffic descriptor changes, this could actually be fixed? Um, I have not particularly checked, but last I heard from Haldik, I think we were still seeing problems. Okay. Yeah, and I think these are uh, more particular to uh, SoapPod, and uh, I mean not in general. So. So what you're saying is that we can actually move it to 2.10? Yes, we can. Okay. Okay. Um, so this one, I would have to ask the folks at the Open New Adapter Go, what is the status of that? Um, this bug here. Uh, this one, I think it's actually, I'll, I'll check with Theo and the ONF folks, but I think this one can actually be removed. The random EPOL failures on the Alpha OA news, uh, Grish, we never managed to find anything about it, right? Uh, unfortunately, no, and we don't really have any contact whatsoever from Alpha folks, so. I don't think we can make any progress on this one. Okay, I'm gonna move it to future uh, because we don't we cannot really do anything about it. Okay. The um, this one, the four four six zero. It, uh, this should be actually fixed with the 
uh, changes that uh, you merged uh, can, right? Yes, I, th yeah, I think so. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay, good. We are not seeing them. Okay, this is good news. Um, so this one, the, this analysis uh, that uh, Girish put out, uh, I think it's it's interesting, but I'm gonna move it to two dot ten because we don't see any issues, and uh, while there could be some fixes uh, in here and some better optimizations. We don't see any issues, so I'm gonna uh, just uh, push to 2.10. I'm actually gonna remove it from 2.9. We might have to backport some stuff to 2.8 because of the LTS, but that's okay. Uh, the bring back deleted or new by disabling enabling the OLT does not work. I don't think we have time to to fix this, we might retry after. So I'm gonna leave it open, I'm gonna leave it in there, but it might be that we have to release with this known issue uh, because uh, that is actually always been there. We just found out that it is there. Um, so we'll take a look at that. Uh, after everything got merged, everything get, all the fixes that we we're working on get in including the honest one for the pending remove uh, because we were seeing something along the lines of the pending remove for it while when me and Teo tested this so we'll retest this as soon as it's uh, as soon as as soon as all the fixes are in and we may will make an assessment um Theo 3583 BB sim replies to unexpected epoch packets uh, we can that's move that a, that's a minor thing we can easily move it to to the pen. Okay, sounds good. And for the disable uh, rediscover or new, uh, I'm pretty sure that the pending remove fix we're putting in will go a long way in, uh, in helping fixing that issue. Yeah, I would, uh, I would agree. I would agree with that. Yes. Um, so the OLT app removes the meter if the flows are impending ad for too long. Uh, I would actually say that this is not an issue this is uh i would say unexpected unexpected behavior and also there is a property to uh avoid meter deletion so i would say that we actually close this with want to do but open to hearing things uh, sounds good yeah we can always uh set the flag in the app Yep. But it still feels weird to me that if a flow that is not installed that reference a meter, the meter is uh, removed. So that will cause us in a situation from which we cannot recover. Yeah, unless we reprovision the subscriber. So maybe let me leave this open. Uh, the real fix, as I explained here, uh, uh, the, 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 the issue is, is actually really, uh, I think I have to put a further comment in here. Uh, the issue is, let me take a note and do it. The issue is that uh, really, uh, the expectation from uh, uh, the um, from the OF spec is that as soon as a, a flow is taken by the device, it will show up in the statistics. The issue here is that uh, given that we are doing a synchronous call to the adapters, if the adapters for any reason take a long time to install this flow, it will not be present in the logical device, so it will not be present in the statistics, so it will be removed in ONUS. Uh, so it will be, sorry, it will be not, the meter will not reference to it. The reference count of the meter will always be zero because it's not present in the statistics. 
to me, this is somewhat of a bug in uh, in Volta. Uh, and I know I have a debate with Theo open on this. Uh, but it's also true that we're most likely going to move away from OpenFlow in the next release uh, or in the next two releases because we're going to move directly to talk to the gRPC API of the Volta core. So this issue will not be there anymore. So I'm okay with a low priority on it. Yeah, absolutely. It's also a very tricky thing because it's like a dog chasing his tail, uh, meaning that if we put the flow in the statistics, but the flow fails installation in the adapter, then honest will not push it back. So we can. Yeah, create, yeah, I know. This, 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 yeah, yeah, this business of the Some statistics. This this business of the statistics is uh, is not the best, and that is also one of the reasons why we're moving away from Onus Classic. And uh, I I would say that uh, we can uh, have this as a as a low priority. You can uh, just uh, remove the uh, put the flag if you think there there is an issue and manually delete the meter, and uh, and be done with uh, with this issue that way. So I, I'll, I'll leave it in. But uh, I don't consider it a blocker for the release, and uh, I, and to me, we might not even put in effort to fix this. If, if we know we're not gonna fix it, let's just mark it as we won't fix it. There is no point in keeping it around. Okay. I'll put the. I'll still put the comment on uh, some of the reasoning we have discussed uh, today, and that's that's it. Okay. So the other the other stories are minor minor issues like uh, fixes story for the LTS support. This is something that we're gonna carry over in 2.10. Same for the stabilization. Um, there is this documentation thing that um, we might do if we have some spare time. If not, I'll move it to 2.10. It's definitely not a blocker for the release. We can do it at any time. Um, I would have to check with Torsten about this, uh, this is a test case, and uh, this documentation, uh, I'm working on it, and it's, it's going to come in with the 2.9 release notes, I'm going to push a patch for all of that, um, and uh, Hardik, do you know if we can make the multi-uni supports test for DT, or should we push that for 2.10? Uh, uh, I don't have an update uh, on this, I'll check and update it uh, tomorrow. Okay. I'll have to check with him. He was working on it, I know, but I'm not sure if the patch is ready. Okay. And um, uh, Sirkan Mahir, do you know what is this PPPoE service flow from Yazin? I'm not aware of it, actually. <clears throat> okay. Uh, maybe I'll, I'll ping him. I'll, uh, I'll ask him what is the status on this. Uh, sorry, Andre, I had some problems with my microphone. I so I also don't have an update about this. Okay. I'm just going to ask, I have asked him what is the status of that. Uh, but I believe uh, this is actually going to be something that we're going to merge into 2.10. I don't believe we're going to put this into 2.9, at least as to the best of my knowledge. Which uh, brings us very close. I mean, there's 11 issues to do. A couple of those are um, things that are not really mandatory for the release uh, and uh, um, things that just need to be checked or things that are going to be moved. So I'm going to do that. On the in-progress stuff, these two are already uh, fixed by uh, by Grish. This is something that I told everybody about. We're going to move to 2.5. Uh, Hardik, maybe this uh, LXC, do we think we, we can close this? Uh, I mean, the workaround is working fine. Uh, but, you know, uh, investigating on the actual keyword that causing this problem. Uh, I didn't get the chance uh, uh, to do that. So. so let me do this. 
The workaround is okay. So let me move this to the pen. Okay. Okay. Yep. Sure. Thank you. The workaround is is fine, and the workaround just for everybody's knowledge is that we do a a grab for LXC and just kill those. And this is only a testing issue; it's not really a, a code problem. So we're good on that. Okay. Uh, I think uh, we will just. Uh, do these in the final days of the release before Friday. I think we're still on the good track to release on Friday. Um, worst case, uh, maybe we just uh, let, let it run over the weekend and uh, claim the release on Monday. But that's, uh, that's really it. Okay. Any questions or, or comments? Okay, then if not, uh, thanks everybody for joining. I think we can go back to uh, the work we were doing and uh, let's continue over there. Thanks everybody, cheers. Thanks Andrea. Thank you, bye-bye. Bye-bye.